Hello, hello. Good evening, teacher. Good evening, good evening. Welcome. Hello, teacher. Good evening. Good evening, welcome. Okay, I'm ready. Everything fine, Mayra? Todo bien, Mayra? Yes, teacher. Very well. ¿Logró entrar a la plataforma? Sí, se puede. <coughs> Good evening, teacher. Okay, let me see how many people do we have now. Diana, Jamilet, Navarro, welcome. Maravilla. Maravilla Navas. Okay. Can you hear me very well now? Yes? Yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. Okay. As yes, I'm teacher. Do, In this moment, teacher. Okay, welcome. Brenda Ivet. Edith. Welcome. Yes. Happy to see you again. I bet it's there too. Okay.
Okay, let me see what else we have here. Okay, uh, let me see, 11, 11, okay, Carlos is there, um, let me see somebody else, Ingrid, Ismael is a uh, listener today, okay, welcome, well, let, let me check up the attendance now, and later on we are going to start talking about the new topic. Si me están oyendo bien? Yes, teacher. Yes, oh, teacher. Good evening. Okay. Si hay alguna falla, por favor, me lo dicen. Porque necesito que la grabación quede muy clara. Okay, let me see. Um, first of all, uh, in order to start and to check up the attendance, I would like to know if all of you, um, you already uh, get in, into the the platform. Me gustaría saber si ya todos entraron a la plataforma o no. Yes, yo no pero le soy honesta, no he entrado porque no me quedo tiempo. Prometo mañana sin falta tomarme el tiempo para entrar. Creería yo que no tengo ningún problema porque en la ocasión anterior no lo estuve todo bien. Pero le soy honesta, no me quedo tiempo de verificar. Hoy más noche lo hago y le confirmo. Mil disculpas sí, porque si no lo entiendo. Sí, le, le, les pregunto esto porque es eh, para estar seguro de que no hay ningún contratiempo para poder accesar. Y si así fuese, para poderlo reportar. El objetivo es de que todo esté al acceso fácil. Ok, teacher. Déjenme sí, ver. Sí, déjenme ver si puedo accesar. Sí, creo que sí puedo ver muy bien el curso. Bueno, well, um, <coughs> let me try this one. Okay, as you can see, uh, this is the platform. Uh, right there, you are going to find out uh, the module that we are going, that we are studying now. This is the section one. In section one, you are going to double click here in order to open it. 
we need to wake a little bit. Okay, it's there. This is the first class. And what about the homework? Okay, interaction, multiple choice. Select the correct form with the verb. In the morning. Don't give me any answer. No me den ninguna respuesta. Pero esto tiene que ver con el presente simple que vimos. Ahí tenemos tres opciones. Taking a shower, take a shower, taste a shower. Todo depende del pronombre. Eso ya lo explicamos. Eh, ayer incluso tomamos una parte de la clase anterior. In this case, for example, my boss email every day. Send, send, and send. Don't tell me the answer. Okay, you have right here, and you can continue with the following. Click in this. And you are going to watch the second class. It is here. And also, you got the homework here. Multiple choice, select the correct time expression. We, yesterday, we talked about that. El día de ayer hablamos de expresiones de tiempo. Ahí aparece, I take a shower every minute, every day, two times a year. My partner have a party every monthly, each month, monthly. My boss write reports, day, daily, every day. I have a meeting, weekly, weeks, each week. People at work uh, go to conferences every year, one year, yearly. You are going to choose uh, the right options. Ok, bueno, ya los que entraron a la plataforma pudieron ver, ver los ejercicios, ¿cierto? Siempre es bueno que se van apoyando con el, el, la guía. Eso nos va dando algunas instrucciones. Me gustaría saber quién está con el nombre de Rose Sign El Salvador para poderle ayudar a hacer el cambio de, de nombre. Hola, yo entré por equivocación. Con otra Michelle. cuenta. Es que estoy en una, en una computadora de, de escritorio que no tiene audio ni, ni cámara. Ah, ok. Bueno, Pero, que fui que entré con el nombre equivocado. Sí, sí, no, él consultaba para poderle ayudar desde acá y hacer el cambio. Vaya, ya lo voy a hacer, gracias. No, no pero si ya lo hizo ahorita ya no hay problema, ya aparece. Uh -huh. aparece gracias. Su nombre, sí, don't worry about that. Ok, let me check out the shop. In the shop I have something, uh, let me see, aquí hay alguien ha escrito. Ok, no sabe cuánto lo sentimos, Azalia. Good evening, Acá. teacher. Good evening. Haga lo que usted pueda y pues sabemos que es muy difícil esos momentos. Gracias, teacher. Gracias. Okay, let me check out the, the attendance now. Um, Alejandra Elizabeth is there. Fíjense que he observado lo siguiente. Eh, en este módulo, a pesar de que tengo algunos eh, que ya estuvieron antes, está siendo bastante irregular en el sentido que tengo algunos participantes que no se han conectado hasta hoy. Ya llevamos tres y eh, no los he visto entonces quiera hacer o no eso eh, pues no 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 sé al final si me afecte a mí o no pero 
porque el objetivo es que todos estén conectados. Yo por eso les he dicho siempre que tratemos eh, por todos los medios de, de, de estar ahí presentes, ¿verdad? Yo siempre estoy buscando la mejor manera de poder ayudarles a todos, de ir eh, a la velocidad adecuada para todo el mundo. Entonces, me, me, me da ese sin sabor porque veo varios, estoy viendo la lista. Bueno, vamos a ver el día de hoy. ¿Qué sucede? Alejandra nos encuentra, Ana Victoria. Present. Ok. Victor is there. Uh, Azalia está ahí. Agradezco su presencia. Eh, Brenda y Beth. Present, teacher. Ok. Eso. Brenda, Natalie. Natalie, Natalie is there. Sí. Natalie, say hello, Natalie. Natalie dijo que iba a estar de 80 porque iba en el bus a un camino a su casa. Ah, ok. Bueno. Thank you. Ah, Carlos. Carlos. Hello. I'm here. Ahí está Carlos. Ok. Diana Yamilet. Yes, I'm teacher. Ok. Ahora se le oímos bien clarito a Diana. Muy bien, muy bien. Edith. Present. Ok, Edith is there too. Um, Emerson, Adiel. Emerson, Adiel. No lo veo, no lo veo. It's not here. Ok. Francisco Javier. No está. Por ahí lo vimos bien ocupadito el día de ayer. Eh, Ingrid Elizabeth. Present teacher. Ok. Eh, Ismael Ernesto. Present teacher. Ahí está Ismael, welcome. Por ahí lo vemos que está de listener, todavía está trabajando, mm -hmm. es seguro, ¿cierto? Yeah, teacher. <laughs> I'm working. Ok, ok. okay. José Alejandro. Ahí está, teacher. Ah, ahí está. Mire, hoy, hoy, hoy ya no está la frecuencia de, la, de los extraterrestres ahí. Algo, algo pasó ya. Sí, ahí. No, ya no. Estaba influenciado por alguna vibra ahí que nos hacía un feedback. Ah, no, ya no, ya estuvo, ya lo arreglamos, teacher. Ah, ok, perfecto. Ya se fueron de visita. Ya, ya se fueron ya los marcianos. <risa> <risa> ok. Julia y Anet. Present teacher. Ahí está, ahí está Julia y Anet. Ok. Welcome. Um, Mayra Elizabeth. Present teacher. Ok. Uh, Noela Milcar. No está o sí está. No aparece. Sandra y Beth. Thank you, teacher. Ok. Eh, Sonia Esmeralda. Sonia. Sonia Esmeralda. No here. No. Ok. No está. Microphone, microphone. <laughs> okay, thank you. Okay, welcome. We are going to start now. Let me show you my presentation in order that you can have an idea of what we are going to talk about today. Let me see here. I'm going to get with this slides in order that you can see it. Okay, as you can see, the name of the course is English for Word program based in module two. The topic, 
how to use how many and how much. Today is Wednesday, March 29th, 2003. Okay? Perfect. Here we go. Okay, before to start talking about the new topic, uh, we are going to make a review uh, related with um, advert of frequency. Do you remember that? What you are going to do is just to take terms, say it's a sentence, use the frequency advert, uh, you consider. Okay, let us see if you remember something about the, the previous class. Veamos qué recuerda de la clase anterior. Hablamos de los adverbios de frecuencia, ¿cierto? Ok. What I need is just that uh, you give me some examples. But if you don't want to do, that, uh, do it in that way, I'm going to show you something and you are going to Okay, hold on a sec. Let me let me show you this. Let us play something. Vamos a jugar a la, la, a la ruleta, la ruleta. Okay, I'm going to choose uh, someone in the list. In this case, uh, let me see who is going to be the one. Okay, let me see. I understand. Okay, what about you, Edith? Are you there, Edith, Adelia? Say hello. Hola. Okay, Edith. What we are going to do, I'm going to spin the wheel. Lo que voy a hacer es que voy a girar eh, la ruleta. Mm -hmm. Y dependiendo del adverb of frequency que aparezca, usted me crea una oración. Bye. Okay. okay. Here we go. Easy, never, okay? Never. Um, I never have breakfast and hope. I never had breakfast. At, at home. home. At mm -hmm. home, okay. Sí. Okay, thank you. Here we go. Ahora elegimos otra persona y esa eres tú, Julia Janet. Say hello, Julia. Hi, teacher. Okay. Here we go. La suerte, la suerte, la suerte. Wow. I owe Oh, you at yogurt. Oh, Estoy en deuda quiero, con usted. Espero el yogurt entonces <laughs> para la cena. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. wow. Salvada por, por, el, salvada por el yogurt. Ok. Ok. I'm going to choose someone else. Voy a elegir a alguien más. Sandra y Beth. Sandra y Beth. Oh, oh, my God. Ok, voy a eliminar este premio porque ya se fue. Ajá, ahí está. Ya no hay premios. Sandra y Beth, this is... No, no me escucha para nada. Prefiero... Wow, wow, wow. ¿Qué pasa ahí? Here we go, here we go. Ok, sometimes... Okay. 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 Okay.
could, could you repeat again, please? I sometimes do exercise in the morning. Oh, okay. I sometimes do exercise in the morning. Okay, thank you. Okay, the next one, it is you. Let me see. Who is going to be? Brenda Natalie Funes. Say hello, Brenda. Natalie. Ah, es la que en el bus, ¿cierto? Yes. Okay, okay, no problem. Let me choose somebody else. Mayra Elizabeth, say hello. Mayra. Mayra. She met from Mayra. It's not here. Yes, it's good, it is here. Mayra, say hello. Hello, teacher. Es oh. que el, el inter está bien mal y me sacó de, de, la, de, la, de la reunión y hasta ahorita puedo ingresar nuevamente. No sé qué pasa en esos minutos. Wow. What we are doing is just that we are uh, playing in the, in, in the wheel. I'm going to spin it and you are going to create a sentence using the adverb that is going to appear right in the arrow right here. Lo que estamos haciendo son oraciones con el adverbio que le aparezca justamente en la flecha. Here we go. Ah, okay. Ahí vamos, ahí vamos, ahí vamos. So, really easy, really easy. Usually. Usually, okay. Uh, I usually go to the church. Okay, I usually go to the church. Okay, thank you. Okay, thank you. Uh, the last one is going to be, let me see who's going to be the last one. Ana Victoria, it's your turn. Say hello. Hello. Okay, here we go. Wow, I can't believe it. You are really lucky. You win a chocolate. Okay. You win <laughs> a chocolate. Chocolate, <laughs> chocolate. Así es que mañana temprano donde vaya, eh, al nomás ver el chocolate, ahí está mi Ahí, ahí diga usted, ahí está mi premio. <laughs> ok. Thank you. Ok, I'm going to stop here because we need to cover another topic. And that way we practice um, the advert of frequency. And I hope that you keep in mind in order that you can use it. Let us continue then. Ok. We already talked about this. We need to move. Okay. Constable and uncomfortable nouns. We are going to talk about that today. What is the meaning? Countable and uncountable now. ¿Qué son? Son nombres. Contables e incontables. Okay, perfect. Okay, countable nouns, since you can count in e units. For example, who wants to read it? Okay, Meralda. Teacher, lo siento, yo me conecté como 20 minutos tarde y ya había pasado usted la asistencia. Ah, Esmeralda. Sorry. Le, 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 le. Yo también, teacher, ya había pasado asistencia. Soy Alejandro Murillo. 
Alejandra, Alejandra Elizabeth. Yes. yes. Welcome. Yes. Teacher, y justo cuando pasó asistencia venía por el por el penal de Mariona. Okay. Welcome, Alejandra. A pleasure to see you here. Teacher, okay. igual yo, eh, Emerson Reyes, acabo de conectarme. Ok, permítame un segundo que ya, 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 ya nos veamos. Primero fue Alejandra. ¿Dónde está Alejandra? Aquí. Where are you, Alejandra? I don't see you. Say hello. Es Murillo, teacher. Ale Murillo. Yes, yes, score. I got, I got that, that. What I'm just trying to look is just that. At least the picture or something like that. Okay, I got it. Somebody else? <clears throat> Let me see. Your teacher. Esmeralda Orellana. Orellana. Esmeralda, Esmeralda, Esmeralda. Esmeralda. Um, okay, I got it here. Okay, some you know. Okay. Somebody else? Your teacher. Natalie Funes. Natalie Funes. Okay. Thank you. Okay, ahí está. Eh, ¿Quién más? Your teacher. Emerson Reyes. Emerson, Adiel, ok, ahí está, Emerson, Adiel Reyes, excelente. ¿Y alguien más? ¿No? Ah, Ale Murillo, por ahí me aparece al final. Ya, ya vi, ya vi, ya vi, ya vi. Ok. Let us go back again with the presentation. Okay, we are talking about countable and uncountable nouns. And I asked somebody to read the names that I have here. Somebody wants to read it? Alguien que desee leer, por favor? Me, teacher. Okay, do it, do it, do it, do it, do it. All the samples. Yes. Okay, one apple, two apples, three apples. One cookie, two cookies, three cookies. One egg, two eggs, three eggs. Okay, since you can come in units. When we talk about countable now, we are talking about since you can come in units. One tomato, two tomatoes, three tomatoes. We are talking about, and also you can see the picture here. What about this one? We are talking about eggs, you know? Okay, try to keep in mind. And also take a look at this situation here. When we talk about, uh, Comfortable noun, uh, we can have singular and plural. One apple, two apples. One cookie, two cookies. One egg, two eggs. Okay. But in contrast, we have uncomfortable noun, since you can count in unit. For example, you can see the picture here. Butter, coffee, meat, sugar. You can you can count in units. No se pueden contar en unidades. Por eso se llaman incontables. And what happened with singular and plural? ¿Qué pasa con el singular y el plural? Ah, that means that it's difficult to have both of them. No se puede tener ambos. ¿Sí? Okay, measuring unit and quantifiers. 
Unidades de medida y cuantificadores. What is that? ¿Qué es eso? Unidades de medida o cuantificadores. Chao. Um, yeah. Justo a tiempo para verme conseguir mi jetpack. Jetpack? ¿Para qué quieres eso? ¿Crees que voy a caminar cuando domine el mundo? If you talk about, about coffee, for example, you can say a cup of coffee is a measuring unit. A pound of coffee is a quantifier. And also you can talk about meat, sugar, and different names. Okay, now your turn. Put this noun in the right column. Try to classify. <clears throat> Contable things. Sorry, teachers, can you repeat, please? Okay, what I need is that you classify the names that I have here in these two categories. Ustedes van a clasificar estos nombres en estas dos categorías. Ok. I got it. Ok. You have three minutes to do it. Three minutes to do it. As soon as you finish, let me know, please. Sure. Hello? Uh, confusion in meat. Meat. Yes. Uh, why? Try to keep in mind that when we talk about comfortable now, uh, or you can count and, and they can have singular and plural. And uncountable I nouns, they don't have plural. I finish. Okay.
finish the shirt. Okay, let us check out. Okay, we have two categories. In the third one, we had X, girl, jacket, cat, pencil, and a school. Why? Because I can switch these names in plurals. Simple. ¿Por qué son contables? Porque también los puedo hacer plurales. Puedo decir one X, two X, one girl, two girls. One jacket, two jackets, cat, one cat, two cats, one pencil, two pencil, school, one school, two school. But at the right side, I can see that it's difficult to switch uh, into plural. For example, cheese, butter, oil, salt, use, and meat. La razón de la del lado derecho es que no las puedo hacer en, en, en plural. ¿Sí? ¿Any questions so far from here? Sí, sir. Any question. Ok, tell me. ¿Sería correcto entonces decir que si debo de agregar S para el plural, ya no sería contable? Okay, hold on. Let, let me adjust my volume here. The hemic is to get stand with me. Okay, hold on a second. Okay, turn it on a second. Okay, could, could you repeat your question, please? I'm sorry, I didn't hear you very well. Podría repetir la pregunta para que le sirva a los demás también. Okay, perdón, tenía el micrófono. Eh, le consultaba, entonces, que los que son contables son todos aquellos que solo le agrego S para hacerlo plural. Es decir, los que son incontables son aquellos que tengo la necesidad de agregarle ES. No. 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 Que cambia Pl toda su estructura a la hora no. de hacerlo plural. Ok, listen, listen. Todos los contables pueden ser singulares y plurales. Los contables. En cambio, los que no se pueden contar... Eh, ahí no hay un nombre, pero eh, por ejemplo, si dijera rice, si dijera arroz, no lo puedo hacer plural y decir arroces. ¿Me comprende? Sí, yes, teacher. Azúcar, no, 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 claro. azúcares, aceites, aceites. 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 Sí, en, sí, en español me podrá decir alguien, sí, pero mire que, ah, uh, uh, ok, en español, but not in English. Ok. Ah, sí. Es por eso que queso, queso puede ser queso o queso, pero en inglés no es cheese y cheese. No, en inglés es diferente. Ok. Yes. Ok, another question, somebody else. Teacher, no. eso es cuando eh, está hablando de, como del producto, o sea, de la sal en sí, por ejemplo, pero ah. eh, si ya hablamos de botellas que sí se pueden contar. Ah, pero eso yo ya lo que antes. Me voy a regresar a su observación. Aquí está bien claro en letras celestes. Dice measuring unit and quantifiers. Para ello se usan unidades de medida y cuantificadores. Crema, por ejemplo, ahí puede mencionar usted una botella, ¿sí? Pero siempre va a ser la crema. ¿Me comprende? Yes or no? Tell me. Hello? Yes, teacher. Okay. Claro. Okay, okay. The same happened with cheese. 
Lo mismo pasa con el queso. Usted puede decir, mire, pero si el queso es contable, ¿y cómo puede contar el queso usted? Una libra, dos No, esas son unidades. ¿Sí? Ok. O con las tazas de café podría ser también. Sí, es. Porque aparecía la palabra coffee y yo les dije, a cup of coffee, a pound of coffee. Pero tranquilos. Ok, here we have the quantifier. Aquí vienen los cuantificadores. Dice, both comfortable and uncomfortable now can be measured with a quantifier. Quantifier express an amount that is not exact, but everybody understands it. Los cuantificadores expresan una cantidad que no es exacta, pero que todo el mundo la entiende. Ah, ok. Aquí los tenemos. A, an, son, any, much, many, a lot of, lots of, a little, a few, how much, and how many. Esos son cuantificadores. You can uh, take a screenshot in order that then you can investigate something uh, about each one. Ahí pueden hacer una captura para que luego hagan eh, alguna investigación extra referente a eso. Okay, any, any question? Any question? No? No, teacher. Okay, okay. Here we go. Aquí vamos, aquí vamos. Okay, now, an and an. We use a or an to talk about a singular, constable noun. Vamos a usar a o an para hablar acerca de nombres contables. Could somebody tell me how I, I am going to use a and an? ¿Cuándo yo uso a? ¿Cuándo uso an? Tell me, what do you know about? Uh, no sé si está en lo correcto, teacher. Eh, um, usa a, a cuando uh, inicia con consonante y an, perdón, a, sí, an, a cuando inicia con consonante y an cuando inicia con vocal. Mm -hmm. Ok. Don't forget that what you are going to do is apply to the sound. Vamos a aplicarlo al sonido cuando sea consonántico, cuando sea vocálico. Porque generalmente creemos que, que es eh, no al sonido, sino a la letra en sí. We have an example, a note, a lemon. And we have a, right here an egg. Okay, you have the eggs here. Or an apple. You can see this is the vowel sound, es el sonido vocálico. Y aquí también tengo otra vocal, entonces aquí uso an. And right here I have uh, consonant sounds. Right here. And a, a lemon. Okay. Así en forma rapidita y breve hemos hecho este ejemplo. No sé si tienen preguntas. No? Okay, let me continue. Okay. We use any to talk about plural, cannibal nouns, and uncannibal nouns. Ojo, lo voy a usar con ambos. Negative and interrogative form. Okay. For example, there isn't any cheese. What is 
¿Te vienen en Spanish? ¿Cuál sería el significado en español? ¿Aló? Cualquiera. No, es cualquiera. La oración completa quiero el significado. Aquí, aquí no hay nada de queso. Ok, esta es una palabra compuesta. There isn't, no hay. Aquí ya no se toma en forma aislada, sino a, no hay. ¿Sí? No hay queso. Fácil. And now the question, is there any cheese? Hay queso. As you can see, we use any. Sí, hay muchos quesos, teacher. Mm, por eso es que ya aparecieron los aliens otra vez. A ellos les gusta el queso. <laughs> ok, let me see. Ya ingresé a la plataforma y todo bien. Ok, Brenda, David, thank you. Natalie said yes, ok. Ok, another example. There aren't, there aren't any bananas. There aren't any bananas. Are there any bananas? Right here is negative. Right here is question. And as you can see, right here say any. We are going to use it in negative and interrogative form. Okay, for that reason, we have this example here. There aren't any bananas. No hay, no hay bananas. Are there any bananas? No. We don't have it. Any bananas? Okay. Let me continue. Sun. We use sun to talk about plural cannibal nouns and uncannibal nouns too. Ojo, estos cuantificadores se usan con nouns, ya sea con contables o no contables. Affirmative, offering, and requests. Three different types. Wow, wow, wow. Hold on. Okay. When we talk about affirmatives, cuando sean afirmativas, offerings or requests. Okay. ¿Cómo sería entonces? There are, for example, somebody can say there are some bananas. Or somebody, if you are going to offer something, you how can I say it? Si yo quiero ofrecer algo, yo tengo que usar la palabra son. ¿Cómo sería? Chao. And do you want some coffee? Ah, do you want some coffee? Ah, okay. Okay, perfect. And what about in requests? Y para pedir algo usando son. Can you give me some? Apples. Okay. Can you give me some water? Okay. Perfect. And right here, we need to pay attention about this. En español. Y aquí vamos a prestar atención porque este es parte de, de como del, 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 del main point here. Difference. How many versus how much? How many? We are going to use it with plural, cancelable nouns. Aquí, how many? Lo voy a usar con nombres contables que sean plurales. See? And how much? I'm going to use it with uncannable nouns. Lo voy a usar con nombres no contables. Okay. Grábeselo, por favor. How many? 
comfortable. How much I'm comfortable. And we have some examples. How many oranges do we need to make use? What is the meaning in Spanish? ¿Qué dice la oración? Hello? ¿Cuántas naranjas necesito para hacer jugo? Ok. ¿Por qué, por qué usé how many? Porque es algo contable. Ahí solo abre su micrófono, por favor. How many? Why? The reason why. I'm, I'm going to use how many. Porque son contables. This is a ¿Por qué? This is a contable. Son contables. Okay, because it's a constable now, okay? Porque es un, un, un nombre contable y que lo puedo hacer plural. Okay, because of a countable noun. Okay, another example. How many cookies do you want? How many cookies do you want? The same question. What is the reason why I'm using how many? Porque estoy usando how many? His question is countable. Because we are using a constable noun, okay? Estamos usando un nombre contable, ¿sí? Another example, how many tomatoes are there in the kitchen? How many tomatoes? ¿Por qué how many? Porque puedo contar cuántos tomates tengo en, ¿dónde? La cocina, teacher. En la cocina, perfecto. What else? ¿Qué más? How much water do you drink every day? How much? Ah, right here is different. How much water do you drink every day? No es contable y cuánta agua puede tomar en el día. Ah, ok. La palabra... Agua es la que no es contable, pero los cuantificadores sí, porque por ejemplo usted puede decir dos litros, tres litros, ahí se es distinto, ¿no? Ok. But maybe uh, we are going to make an stop here. Vamos a hacer un alto acá. Rosa, I would like to hear from you. So an example related with a uh, constable now. Algunos ejemplos relacionados con nombres contables. Me gustaría oír. Using the question, how much or how many? If I ask you, for example, how many brothers and sisters do you have? ¿Qué se entiende por eso? I have one brother and one sister. Okay. Entonces, what can you tell me about? Okay, another another uh, example. I need that you give me another example.
me teacher. Okay, okay. Asali. How how much then at sea? How much? Sun sand at okay. sea. How much sun? At sea. Ah, you are talking about a place. Okay. Okay, somebody wants to give me another example, please. Alguien más? Sí, sí. Por, por ejemplo, sería, how many pairs of shoes do you have? Could you repeat the game, please? How many pairs of shoes do you have? Ah, how many? How many? How many? How many pair of shoes do you have? Y será que lo, yes. los desde el momento que estamos hablando de pares estamos haciendo plural, entonces contable, sí. Okay. 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 okay perfect. If I ask you, for example, to everyone, or maybe not a specific question, but if I ask you, how many cars do you have? What can you answer? How many cars do you have? Teacher. Hello? Um, is correct how much coffee is there in the supermarket? Yes, the no. word coffee is uncomfortable. Bad. It's uncomfortable. Sí, la palabra How café, many? la palabra café es 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 eh, incontable. Yes. Bad, pero si mm -hmm. vamos a if we are going to talk about quantifiers, si vamos a hablar de cuantificadores. Maybe you what you need to know is uh how, how many, many boxes or bags the supermarket have. Yes. Si vamos a hablar de cuantificadores, podría ser cuántas cajas, cuántas bolsas. It's, it's different. Specific. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. Okay. Somebody else? Sí. Teacher, como siguiendo con la pregunta de la compañera, o sea que si ya estamos hablando de cuantificar las tazas de café, se podría usar how many, how many, how many. How many cup of coffee do you drink in a day? Ah, ok. Sí. Ok. Ahí sí. Sería ese el, el cuantificador. Okay. Teacher. Hello, sir. Uh, how many you eat food? Mm. How many? How many do you eat food? How many meals do you have in a day, for example? Cuántas mm. comidas? Mm -hmm. Sí. Uh, you eat uh, every day. Is, uh, me faltó. <laughs> Sí. 
sometimes it's uh, kind of uh, tricky, you know. For that reason, what I recommend you is just to look for some list of this kind of um, nouns. Ditches. Excuse me? Platus. Ditches. Ditches. Uh, could be, but, but if you are talking about the time, how many times do you eat in a day? It's different. ¿Cuántas veces comes al día? Ya estamos diciendo que es algo que se puede contar. Yes. Okay, let us switch a little bit. Um, hold on a second. Okay, I'm going to share this in the that you can have an idea. And also we have a question. How often do you have vacation on your job? When do you take then? How often do you have vacation on, at your job? When do you take them? Quantifier, quantifier, no, adverb of frequencies in this case. En este caso, estamos como en lo de ayer que hablábamos de adverbios de frecuencia. How often, con qué frecuencia usted tiene vacaciones en su trabajo? When do you, do you take them? Tell me. Hello. Hello, are you there? Hello, teacher. Usually. How often do you have vacation at your job? Maybe somebody could say twice a year, dos veces al año, podría decir alguien. Once a year, una vez al año, tengo las vacaciones. For that reason, the question said, when do you take them? ¿Cuándo te las toma usted? Tell me. Okay, no answer, no answer. Okay, take a look at this conversation. Listen to your teacher, read the conversation and then practice with a pattern, okay? This conversation is between Rook and Josh. Like, and, 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 and Ruth said, hey, Josh, I have a question for you. Do you have paid vacation at your job? Yes, I do, Ruth. How about you? Me too. I have paid vacation. How many days do you have in your vacation? And you said 20 days to be exact. How many bonuses do you have per year, Ruth? I have four bonuses. What about you? And how much do you receive? I have just two, but each bonus is for more than $600. Okay. Question. I repeat the share more than in Jones. How much it pronounced? 600. Ah, more than 600. More, more than 600. 
No, more than more than six hundred. Solo seiscientos okay. is six hundred. Hola. Hola, hola. Pregunta que solo, la, solo el número 600, ¿cómo se pronuncia? Sí. Ah, ok. ¿Cómo se pronuncia solo, solo el número 600? Primero decimos 6, que sería 6, y luego decimos 100. 600. Ese es 600. De ahí solo se van cambiando. En, y si fuese 700, usted dice 700. Si aquí tuviese ya un cero y son seis mil, entonces dice six, six thousand. Y así lo vamos cambiando. Ok, take a, a screenshot, please. Haga una captura, por favor. I'm going to be again. Hey, Josh, I have a question for you. Do you have pay vacation at your job? Yes, I do, Ruth. How about you? Me too. I have pay vacation. How many days do you have in your vacations? 20 days to be exact. How many bonuses do you have per day? For, per year, right? I have four bonuses. With uh, what about you? And how much do you receive? I have just two. But each bonus is for more than 600. Okay, now let us practice. If you don't have any question, no question. Preguntas? No okay, no question. Hagan la captura, por favor. One, two, three, four, five. Okay. Okay, let me create uh, the breakout room. Let me see how many people do I have now. 18. Okay. Nine different group. Teacher, I can. I can hear you. Sandra? Sandra. Hello. Sandra? Can you hear me? Parece que salió de la plataforma porque no se ven los conectados. Okay, let us practice the conversation. Uh, just click on the, my invitation, please, and practice.
Okay, okay, okay. What happened with the rest? Diana, Edith, Natalie, Emerson. Hola. ¿Aceptaron la invitación? Me han dejado solo ahí a, a varios. Eh, sí, teacher, eh, pero al unirme la invitación no, este, no se unía la actividad. Y ahí está Natalie también. El cuatro quedó solo. Then try to know. Ahí le llegó de nuevo la invitación. Okay, Emerson, um, I don't know if you have the, the material with you. Okay, welcome back. Only yes, Emerson Nadiel um, was alone. The rest, I guess you had the chance to practice with somebody else, right? Okay, I need at least three different pairs in order to produce the, the, the conversation. Hoy solo vamos a hacer máximo tres participaciones de la conversación. Así es que si usted, uh, if you are one of those, uh, you can raise your hand or say me, teacher, I want to practice. It's up to you. Can you meet you? Tell me who wants to start. Volunteers, volunteers. Me, teacher. Okay, 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 Ale, 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 Ale. Ale, with? With, I don't remember my couple. Julia, I think. Okay. Who is there? Who is there? Okay. Teacher, can you can you yes, sorry, I can share the session? Share the, the the yes, I got it here. Yeah. Can you see it? Yes, teacher. Okay. Yes. 
I go first. Um, yes, no. Um, um, Ruth. Um, Ruth. Okay. Okay. And um, hey, Josh, I have a, que a question for you. Do you have paid vacation at your job? Yes, I do, Ruth. How about you? Me too. I have paid vacation. How many days do you have in your vacations? 20 days to be exact. How many bonus do you have per year, Ruth? I have four bonus. What, what about you? And how much do you receive? I have just two. But each bonus is for more than $600. Somebody else, okay, thank you. Somebody else? Esmeralda, pasamos nosotras. Okay. Solo que si nos proyecta porque no veo. Ah, aquí está. Perdón. Ahí está. Uh -huh. there, there. Eh, si quiere comienzo. Ok. Hey, Josh. I have a question for you. Do you have pay vacation at your job? Yes, I do, Ruth. How about you? And me too. I have pay vacation. How many days do you have in your vacation? 20 days to be exact. How many because do you have per uh, year root? Um, I have four bonus. What about you and how much do you receive? I have used two good age bonus if for more than 600. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Okay. In the last couple. Me teacher. Okay, do it in green. Mm, on my hand. Here. Okay, empiezo. Okay. Hey Josh. hey, Josh, I have a question for you. Do you have paying vacation at your job? Yes, I do, Ruth. What about you? Me too. I have paid vacation. How many days do you have in your vacation? 20 days to be exact. How many bonuses did you have here, dear Ruth? I have four bonus. What about you? And how much do you receive? I have used two, but each bonus is for more than six hundred dollars. Okay. Okay, thank you. And also at the right side, we have a question to ask. About money. For example, how, how much do they pay? How much do they pay? How much do they charge? How much is it? And how much do you earn every month or monthly? We have four different questions that we can use. Tenemos cuatro preguntas que podemos usar. How much do they pay? How much pay? do they pay? Is six six hundred dollars. Okay, six hundred dollars. Okay, how much do they charge? How much do they charge? Uh, 
for bonus. Yeah, maybe maybe they they share you uh something like uh, the ten percent. Possiblemente le descuenten renta. How much is it? How much is it? Cuánto es? And how much do you earn every month? Y cuánto gana usted cada mes o mensualmente? We have four different expression or question when we talk about money, cuando hablamos de dinero, ¿cierto? Okay. Okay, and number three, figure it out. Circle the word the best completes the question. And we have two different questions. For example, how much or how many do they pay? And the second one, how much or how many days do you have in year vacation? Okay, try to solve. Resuelvo, por favor. One, how much? Two, how many? Okay. Okay, how much or how many? How much do they pay? Because you are talking about money, right? And how much or how many days do you have in your vacation? How many, right? Because you are talking about days. Okay, number four. Use one of the question about to complete the mini conversation. One of the question could be number one or number two to complete the mini conversation. Teacher pays for for team or fighting. It is page ah, fourteen or fifteen. The number of the page is fourteen. Okay. Not fifteen. Not fifteen. Not fifteen. This is number fifteen. Okay, use one of the questions about to complete the mini conversation. Use uh, una de las preguntas de la parte de arriba para completar la mini conversación. Talking about one of these. Hablando de estas, expression to ask about money. Estas expresiones are the ones that I'm going to use here. Son las que voy a usar para responder la actividad 4. Okay, you have five minutes to solve it. Okay, teacher. How much is it? Okay, try to do it in your notebook and later on we are going to compare. Resuélvanlo por favor en su cuaderno y luego 
Eh, lo comparamos, por favor. Okay, did you finish? No? Hola, hola, hola. Hello, tell me. The first question. It is yes. 10 50. <sighs> it 
page 1050. How many? But, but I need to hear read the, the whole question. Necesito que me lean la, la pregunta completa. How many today? Será how many? O será how much? How, how much? much? Okay, so try to read the question that you consider that fits there. Lean the how question. much it is? How much? It is. Is it? How much is, is it? How much is it? And yes. the answer could be uh, it is 10. It is the 1050. 10, 10, 10, 50. 1050. 10, 50. Yes. Okay, what about the second one? I make 545 months to leave. With question. Tell me. ¿Cuál sería la pregunta para la número dos? I make, yo hago 545 mensualmente. Which one is the right one? How much do you earn every month? How much do you earn hear every month or monthly? Okay. Perfect. What about what about number three? They take 23 per item. Which one? Tell me, please, give me an answer. Uh, how much do they care? Let's go. How? They take 20 slipper item. Okay, the question is how much do they charge? How much do they charge? Cuanto es el cargo? Okay, and the last one, number four, the company pays 690 with bonus. How much do they pay? Okay. Okay, let us continue with exercise number five. Reading, read the welcoming letter to Dominic's new job and answer the question below. Okay, try to read, Travers. INC or INC, if you want to say it that way, for a better future, the employee. Welcome to Travers Inc. Congratulations, you are now part of the Traveler family. Here's some information about your new job. Please read it carefully. Name, Glenda Dominic Sanchez. 
job title, junior sales manager. Key job duties. Have a meeting with your manager every week. Get in contact with customer. Answer client question about our products. Take orders on the telephone. Call potential clients. Vacation, two weeks per year plus public holidays. Salary, 440 per month plus bonus. Good luck, Mark Travel CFO. Okay, based on this information, you are going to resolve exercise number six. Okay, read the sentences, say if they, they are true or false. Right here, based on this information, you are going to tell me it is true or it is false. Basada en esta información, usted me dirá si es falso o es verdadero. Okay, do it now, please. La primera, teacher, no sé si es false. Okay, let me see. Dominic speaks to clients in. Okay, I guess it's better if you answer the full one. Será mejor que completen, hagan las cuatro y luego we can compare. Y luego hacemos la comparación. I'm sorry, I'm sorry.
Okay, tell me. Did you finish? Yes. Yes, teacher. Okay, the first one, Dominic speak to plan in her new job. Is that true or false? It's true. It's true. True. Number two, her salary is 100 per week. It's false. Well, Dominic gets a, a yearly vacation. It's false. 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 Okay, the, number four, she has to work on the holidays. Yes or no? Not. Yes. False. It's false. Ah, it is false. Yes. Two weeks per year. Okay. Okay, let me share something with you now. Okay, here we go. This is the exercise that I need that you Resolve. Okay, click on it and try to resolve this.
Okay. Let me know if you finish. Yes, teacher, I finish. Okay. Okay, let me share something. Okay, I'm going to share with you this presentation. There uh, you are going to find out more information. Okay, por ahí les he compartido una presentación relacionada con los nombres contables y no contables. There you can find more info related with this topic and you can start it later on. Try to download it now. Descarguenlo ahorita, por favor, porque luego se va a cerrar el Zoom y ya no habrá espacio para poder hacer la descarga. Si alguien puede, eh, puede compartirlo al grupo de WhatsApp para que sea más fácil. A mí me salió más rápido hacerlo acá. Just let me know if you can do it, please. Si se pudo. Hello. Yes, teacher. Ah, ok, ok, perfecto. Yes, teacher. Ok. Ok. Let us check uh, again the, the attendance. Alejandra Elizabeth. Say hello. It's not here. Okay, Asalia. Present teacher. Okay, thank you. Um, Ana Victoria. I am here. Okay, Brenda Yvette. I am here, teacher. Okay, thank you, Natalie. Present teacher. Okay, Carlos. I hear it. Okay, Diana. Present teacher. Okay, um, Edith. Present. Okay, Emerson. Present teacher. Okay, Emerson is there too. Uh, Francisco Javier. It's not here. Ingrid, Elizabeth. Present teacher. Smile Ernesto. Present teacher. Okay. Jose Alejandro. Present teacher. Julia Janet. Present teacher. Mayra. Present teacher. Sandra Ivet. I'm here. So, 
Ay. Sonia. <laughs> Present teacher. Okay, thank you. Let me see. This is class number three. Asalia Melanie, you had 10 minutes at the end of the class in order that you ask some questions related with the topics. El uno a uno le corresponde el día de hoy a Asalia Melanie. Así que tiene 10 minutos okay. al final de la sesión. Ok, teacher. Thank Por ahí you. les dejo esa presentación que les va a ayudar mucho con el tema de hoy. Quienes no han entrado a la plataforma, les pido que por favor lo hagan y vamos resolviendo de una los ejercicios. And that way, uh, you are practicing the language. Okay, thank you very much. Good night. See you tomorrow. Thank Good you, night. Teacher. Thank you, teacher. Thank you, teacher. Good night, everybody. Tomorrow. Bye. Good night. Good night. See you, see you. Good night, everybody. Okay, Asalia. Hi, teacher. Hello. Okay, ahorita tiene 10 minutos. Si tiene consulta, si todo está claro, me lo indica y de eso dependerá. No, um, el tema de ese día está todo bien. Ok. Ok. Eh, es como el ayer no estuve, pues, obviamente no sé qué hablaron. No sé de qué se trató. Okay. No he tenido tiempo de, de poder verificarlo. Sí. Ok, yesterday we talked about the frequency adverb. Hablamos de los adverbios de frecuencia. Ok, eh, voy a tratar de ver en la plataforma entonces el tema para poder entenderlo. Y cualquier sí. consulta se la hago, ¿sabes? Ok, perfecto. No sé si le puedo consultar ahí en WhatsApp. Mm, sí, podría hacerlo. Solo déjenme hacer algo primero. Okay. Necesito... Solo le voy a compartir algo y ahí irá hacer una captura. Puede esto. Ahí está. La parte de eh, los adverbios. Y ahí está su porcentaje. ¿Lo hizo? Ya, espérame que... ¿Sí? Bueno, no? la última estaba como tapadita, pero creo que, okay, que es el 100%. Ok, perfecto. O 90, Ok, ahí está. Ah, 0%. <ríe> Sorry. Sí, ahí está. Ok, tío. Pero a mí también quiero solo mostrarle el tema principal. Sí, el tema principal era precisamente presiones de tiempo. Para actividades regulares. Ahí se usa, eh, se usa como se llaman los adverbios. 
con qué Sí, frecuencia sí. se hacen las cosas. ¿Cuáles se utilizan más? O sea, ahí depende. Porque hay cosas que no se hacen casi nunca. Y hay cosas que se hacen siempre. Ok. Por ejemplo, ir a trabajar. Entonces depende, ok. I, y usted dice, I always go to work from Monday to Friday. Si es que trabaja de lunes a, a viernes. Sábado. Sí. Saturday. Saturday. Ok, déjeme ver si podemos hacer algo aquí. Por ahí le dejo la presentación de la clase de ayer. Ok, teacher. Ahorita la guarda. Ok, based on that you can uh, study about the topic. And then if you have a question, just send me a, a text message and I'm going to answer. Ok, teacher. Ya, ya la copié. Ok, perfecto. Ok, si no tiene otra pregunta. No, teacher, solo okay. agradecerle, ¿verdad? Por su comprensión y su, y su tiempo. Oh, ok, don't worry about that. Thank you very much and I hope to see you tomorrow. Good night. Ok, good night, teacher. Ok, bye. bye.